Hey there fellow designers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to model a Pythagorean cup and arm shape, a fascinating and fun project that combines history, mathematics and 3D design. So let's dive right in. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and let's get started. A few words about the history of the Pythagorean cup. The Pythagorean cup, also known as the Justice Cup, the Greedy Cup, or Tantalus Cup, is named after the famous Greek philosopher and mathematician Pythagoras. It's believed that he invented this cup to teach his students a lesson about the virtues of moderation and the consequences of greed. About the design and function of the cup, at first glance, the Pythagorean cup looks like an ordinary drinking vessel. Let me turn that around. There's a section view of our design, but let's say viewed from here, seen from here, it's just a cup, right? Just a normal cup. But hidden within its design is a clever mechanism that makes it anything but ordinary. The cup has a small column in the center, that is, this body here, which is connected to a U-shaped pipe in green here, huh? At the bottom, this pipe runs through the stem and opens at the base of the cup here. When you fill the cup with liquid up to a certain level, everything works as expected and you can enjoy your drink. However, if you get greedy and fill the cup beyond that level, which would be here, filling from here to here, you're safe, right? And the liquid spills into the column and the siphon effect takes over. The entire contents of the cup are then drained through the pipe and out of the bottom leaving you with an empty cup and a valuable lesson in moderation. The siphon effect is a fascinating phenomenon that occurs when the pressure difference between two points in a liquid-filled tube causes the liquid to flow from one point to another. In the case of the Pythagorean cup, the siphon effect is triggered when the liquid level rises above the bend in the U-shaped pipe creating a continuous flow that drains the cup. Okay, so much about the history and the de design and the physics of the cup. And now let's get um, our modeling started. So we really just need um, one main sketch and then just a very small one. Uh, which just has a uh, circle in it. So let's have a look at that one big sketch. I'll take that over here. Okay, so let's get started with a sketch on the front plane. I take a line from the origin, go up, dimension that with uh, 44. Then go to the slot command, take that, and apply a diameter of 28. Accept that. Then um, go into the offset. I press O for that. Take that line, that line, that line. Go to the inside. Accept that and give that um, a six millimeter offset. Six. All right. Let's pull that down, pull that up. Dimension from the origin, the height of that line which is then 48. Let me pull that over here so you can see that wall. And now let's um, 
work on the the glass or the cup, the outside profile. I go with L into the profile and start here. Go at an oblique angle over there. Go here, over there, someplace here. Then way up there. And that's it. Now press H to have that horizontal constraint between those two. Then let's dimension this distance here with a 22. That one just as well, 22. Then an angle dimension of 12 degrees. A distance here of 42. Then a vertical constraint between those two points here. Then an angle, an, oops, an angular dimension between these lines here of 18 degrees, and then a horizontal dimension here of 64, and a height. of 88 great now let's go into our offset again press o there you get the command and i take all those lines and go to the inside accept that and Dimension that with four millimeters. Then draw a line here to um, finish that here. Press H. All right, do the same thing up here. H. And then let's go into the tangent arc command here, take our endpoint, get over here, take the L, make that a construction geometry, and dimension that with uh, 12 millimeters. Take that way up here, hey, yeah and dimension that height with uh, three millimeters. Now let's see. Um, press T for a tangent relationship and our sweep path, this one here, is fully defined. All right, so that's it for that sketch. Now I'll go into the revolve, solid revolve. Ah, well, I need to do one thing in the sketch. I need to make one straight line through here. Yeah, now the revolve. I'll take all those regions here and revolve them around that axis. I'll apply, well, rename that cup, give that some nice color here, maybe that one and apply um, a four millimeter radius to 
those edges here, inside just this wall here, here, and here, and that one as well. Accept that, all right, it looks nice. And apply a full round um, fillet here to that lip. Same thing at the bottom. Full round inside. And that one. All right. There we got that cup. And now we need to apply that. We want to apply that sweep going through the body. For that, I make that sketch visible again. And let's define, I can hide the cup for a moment. Let's define a plane normal to that point and that curve. So I go into the plane command, curve point, take that curve or line and that vertex. And then um, start a sketch on there, which will be just that circle coincident with that endpoint. And give that a six millimeter um, diameter. Hide that plane, and we can execute the, the sweep command um, like that. A solid removing um, sweep, take that and take that path here. Sure, merge scope is our cup. All right, let's have a look at that. Hide that sketch, go into the section view from the front plane. And to make things more visible, um, pick those surfaces, go to Add Appearance to Four Faces, and, well, what, maybe that one's a nice color for that channel. And, and we're ready. That's our Pythagorean cup. We could... 3D print that and, well, <laughs> um, drink from that, right? I hope you enjoyed the, the video and I see you in the next one.